A very good morning to you. Our text, Romans 8 verse 16. And the Spirit of God bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Our heading, New Creatures in Christ. Are you new creatures in Christ? For as the Lord lived before whom I stand, if any of us has not been created anew in Christ, if we have not been born again by the regeneration power of the Holy Spirit, we cannot possibly be the children of God, and neither can we be heirs according to the promise. First, if we have been thus regenerated, we shall certainly know it. There may be times when we doubt it, but we shall know it partly by the indwelling of the Spirit. As Paul wrote to the Galatians, Because you are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. In our text we read, The Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Do you know anything, dear friend, about this spirit bearing by the Holy Spirit? Second, you must have this witness of the Holy Spirit, or else the witness of your own spirit will be a very doubtful thing indeed. The Holy Spirit never confirms a false witness, but a true witness He will confirm, and if the witness of your spirit be true, you will have more or less definitely the witness of the Spirit within you, bearing confirmatory testimony that it is even so. Application Those who are truly the children of God have yet another mark by which they can be recognized, namely, that there is a likeness to their tes testimony and to the Heavenly Father begotten in them. When a man says to us, I am a child of God. We have the right to expect that there shall be at least some trace of the character of God visible in his walk and conversation. Come, dear friend, with all your imperfections, are you seeking to be an imitator of God as one of his dear children? Do you try to do that which he wishes you to do? Do you make his son to be your exemplar? Do you strive after holiness? Are you aiming at obedience to those divine commands? Be ye holy, for I am holy. Be you therefore perfect. And I pray, Father, help us in our imperfections. In Jesus' name, Amen.